Welcome everyone to another edition of Easy Projects tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about our newest feature to Easy Projects workflows. Departments or business units within an organization using the Easy Projects platform can now leverage workflows by creating their own unique statuses that mark various stages of their work process, such as setting the process off, having it in progress, putting it on hold, completing it, and every other stage in between. So let's start by reviewing our agenda for today. We're going to be looking at permissions. Following the permissions, we're going to take a look at the company settings. We now have a dedicated work page to manage these workflows. We're also going to take a look at how to create a new workflow. Following that, we'll be looking at the activity center and look at how we can filter through these different workflow statuses. And then finally, we're going to be taking a look at the conversion rule within any custom form that you create where you can now apply a workflow to it and lastly we'll share with you a quick pro tip on managing these new workflows all right so we'll start by taking a look at roles and permissions to be able to access the role and permission simply click your avatar go into company settings select roles as the administrator and we're going to select project manager role in this case uh, the default for manage workflow permission has already enabled. You see the check mark applied there. This allows your project manager now to be able to access workflows right from within their own account. So here we have Felix PM. He has the ability now to click on company settings, select workflows, and start the process of either duplicating an existing workflow or creating a brand new workflow. All right, so as a PM, now that Felix does have access to the workflows, he can now go ahead and set up the option of leveraging some existing workflows that have already been created and select to duplicate, or you can start by creating a brand new workflow. Each of your workflows that you create can be set up as defaults by selecting a specific workflow and marking it as a default. You want to keep in mind that you can only set up one default. So whenever a new project is created, if there is no workflow defined, that specific workflow default will apply to it. So let's go through the sequence of creating a brand new workflow. Select the plus green icon at the top. In this case, we're going to get call our workflow graphic design. And we're going to look through the different statuses that are set up as defaults here we have open that we're going to treat it as open so any task or project that we create will have the open status and it is going to be a default the same applies to when we mark that specific project task issue or activity as closed or completed we're going to treat it as completed we'll add another additional status here for this exercise, we're going to go ahead and add hold. We're going to treat it as such. There are three selections to choose from. Open, to treat an object as hold, or treat a status as completed. In this particular instance, we're going to apply the hold across all levels of the project. And we're going to create another one here called pre-design, which is unique to our graphic and design team and we're going to treat that as open. Now, you have the ability to arrange these in the order that you want them to see through the dropdown when you make your selections for the different statuses to choose from. So here we want the open at the top, then we're going to have our hold appear in the middle and our completed or closed at the bottom. Now that we have our workflow created, you can see the author of this particular workflow appears at the bottom. It says created by Felix. Uh, you currently have not applied it to any projects, so we're going to be taking a look at that next. And we also have the ability here to apply this as a default if you choose to. But for now, we're just going to leave it as is. By clicking close, you've automatically saved that workflow. All right, so now that we've set up our workflow, let's go ahead and apply that to a project. In this instance, I've got a project created called Workflow going to select that and when you click on the project details you will find a new field at the very top above the priority where you can now select your specific workflow in this case we're going to go ahead and select graphic design I'm going to go ahead and save that and in a quick instance you will notice a significant change 
whereby you now see only the statuses that apply to that specific workflow in the order in which you have laid them out. So that's at the project level, and this is at the task level. Open, pre-design, hold, closed in the order in which we had set them up. So next, we're going to be taking a look at filtering. In its current design, we presented all of the statuses in the order in which they were created and uh, which they have been laid out in the system list workflows. This, of course, has gone through a major overhaul as well. So let's take a look at the exciting new change. So when we talk about filtering now in this new feature, when you select your filter icon and you want to filter by statuses, we have grouped them together by their respective workflows. So in this particular instance, I just want to concentrate on the graphic design and I want to see any of my tasks with the open status. I select that and now I've just filtered down to that very specific status in just a few short clicks. Of course, I can leverage save views and save this view as I go forward. Next, we're going to take a look at custom forms and how we can leverage workflows uh, within a specific custom form. So let's just say you have an intake form here for our web design team. I'm going to go ahead and edit this form. And now as part of my conversion rule under the projects, I can now specify the specific workflow. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose graphic design, save this change. So the next time we do want to have an intake form for web design that comes through, we can now easily convert that into that specific project and it will follow through on the statuses that we have created in the graphic design workflow. And lastly, just a quick pro tip to share with you from the team is to review all of your project templates if you are leveraging templates and assign them the specific workflow. So in this case, we'll just take a look at the graphic design template and set this up to the graphic design workflow. So this way, going forward, whenever a new project is created using this particular template, it will automatically have that workflow applied. We certainly hope you will leverage this new feature. And as always, continue to send in your feedback to success at easyprojects.net. Wish you all a very pleasant day. Thank you.